Welcome back, guys. This is part two of uh, the BR101, and we're going to... Uh, I'm here with uh, our friend Raf. Hello, Raf. Hello. Raf is one of the authors, guys, who did the manual, the very intricate 144-page manual for uh, the BR101 loco that is releasing tomorrow. Uh, you're probably seeing it today, so this is today. Uh, it just released... <laughs> Check it out on Steam, BR101. Uh, mainly, uh, Raf, where does this loco run in Germany, exactly, and Switzerland, of course? Well, pretty much all over. Uh, Switzerland is, mo I think, only to Basel, but okay. uh, it's, it's pretty much all over all over Germany and uh, some maybe to Austria, like we're gonna like we're gonna see with um, Salzburg Rosenheim. Uh huh. Uh, and who manufactured this train, and where? Uh, how long ago? How old is this uh, loco? Uh, the carriages, I will need to check that again. But the loco has been initially manufactured by Ad Trans, which was then part of Bombardier, then now part of Alstom. And okay. uh, it was ordered sometime in the early 1990s. Interesting, interesting. So this loco still runs in uh, Switzerland, is that correct? Switzerland is rarer. W which uh, country does it run in mostly? Germany, of course. <laughs> oh, Germany. Okay. So let's go back to. Uh, hold on. No, I don't want to exit the game. I want to escape. I want to go back. You will on the scenario for a choose a route. There we go. So we're looking for the this one. The middle, the bottom. Bottom, bottom okay. Yeah. And we're looking for the introduction to the BR-101, guys. Mm -hmm. Give us a second. Well, the, the introduction is um, is what we did. Now you wanted to play a scenario. Oh, scenario. Okay, so which scenario do you suggest? Uh, so the scenarios There's... that come with the roots are sweaty palms, empty pipes, take a cap back, and touchdown. Sweaty palms, empty pipes, and take a cap back are all BR 101 essentially, with a bit of cap car in uh, take a cab back because of the cab car. And touchdown is a uh, cap car scenario only. Right. Okay. So we're going to do uh, which I one think... is a passenger one? Um, all of them are because um, they are essentially this is a full passenger train. I think sweaty palms is a good start. I think. Okay, we'll do a bit of sweaty palms, guys. We're not going to complete it, but we're just going to see how the uh, BR one hundred and one looks. Guys, don't forget to share, like, favorite, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and feel free to let us know in the comments what you think of this loco and. Last but not least, click on that bell icon. Uh, Raf, where can we find you on social platforms if we're interested? Uh, mostly Discord, right? Correct? Yeah, that would be Discord. Um, so if you, if you your name to... is uh, called R-A-P-H apostrophe, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, that would be on the Train Sim community. Train Sim I'm community. And quickly, what else have you done... Uh, as far as your profile is concerned, what other games have you helped? Uh, well, I am a um, moderator for um, Kishmish Games, so Boss World, for, uh, if, if you know that game, and yep. uh, for Train Crew as well. And I have done, well, French translations for uh, Boss World Metro Simulator. Uh, but that was, uh, that's about it, really. Nice, awesome. And I've known Raf, guys, uh, for quite a few years. Uh, if you guys have never heard our videos or commentaries together or collabs, uh, well, you're missing out on quite a few uh, <laughs> nice games that we've played. Uh, yeah. Unlock. Right. So far, this is a much abbreviated version of the cold start we did on part one, guys. If you want to check out part one, check out the description or on the top right, uh, you can see the eye circle on the top right of your screen and we can switch that. 
you can see this part is one there. that's already started, by the way. Yeah, exactly. We did a cold start, very cold start earlier. Okay, so what this is, what you just clicked on, if you want to have a look at it. Because uh, uh, I yep. can also we'll just go back through the train to explain. Absolutely. Uh, this is the ZDE panel, so the train data entry panel. <clears throat> okay. So on on this, you set up uh, the PZB and LZB system, so the train okay. protection systems. Okay. And uh, as you saw, there are four entries. So BRA, which is the brake type, BRH, which is your brake percentage, uh, ZL is your train length, and VMZ is your max speed. Okay. <clears throat> So what you said is that you are in the... So uh, we set it uh, as a uh, 9. For a passenger train. Uh, your brake percentage is 180%. Okay. Uh, unless, unless I'm mistaken on the unit, but I think it's a percentage. Okay. So this is called brake percentage. Uh, yeah, brake percentage. Your train length is just under 260 meters. Okay. Uh, it might be 253, I think, for this configuration. But okay. when you enter the train data, you have to round it up to the safer number. So the yeah. one above in this situation. The one above. Your okay. max speed, of course, is 200 kilometers per hour. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that explanation. That's awesome. What's this little light here for? Five uh, volts? That, sh that should just mean that it has the voltage to function. The circuit. Okay, the circuit's functioning at five volts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the main board, sorry. So if All you right. Head to the right, that's the doors. Along the doors on the right, so the platform is on the right. <laughs> yeah. Lock all? No, on, on release on the right. Oh, okay. It's because I let passengers in. <clears throat> so once the passenger load, we can take a look at the other features uh, just in front of you. In the cab. So on the left you have your MTD screen. Okay. This this has uh, quite a few functions. Uh, I don't know if you want me to talk you through all of them because there's a few. Already. Oh, right ahead. Feel free. Uh, so if you click on the number one uh, on the bottom, the soft key one. These are your traction motor computers. So you have okay. four traction motors, and in this page you can see if any of them are off. So, of course, all of them are on. If you see a yellow uh, square, that means this one is off. You can also toggle them on or off, but be mindful that it will trip your circuit breaker when you do so. Okay. So, and you can return to the main menu with zero for gun build. Uh, Start where was the bottom. that? Uh, bottom right? Numbers are all at the bottom always, yeah. Okay. Uh, then if you go to W, Number two. So here you have a few uh, states of uh, your locomotive. So uh, your current speed is the one on the top left, then the battery, battery voltage, I almost said that in German, uh, on the top right. Uh, you have your uh, kilometers that you have driven, and then everything else that says EIN, uh, which means uh, enabled or else disabled, is um, different battery systems, like your main circuit breaker, your right. compressors, your traction motors again. And if you go Fantastic. on one again, on the process, this is going to be useful for faults, for certain types of faults. These are the temperatures of different uh, types of your different local systems. Okay. In, in some situations, you will have to monitor uh, the one on the top left, the... Uh, 26 Celsius. Yeah, the coolant temperature. If it okay. goes too high, it might trip your circuit breaker in some situations. Okay. I can go back to zero with the, the main menu again. Uh, then you have, uh, so four is your train number. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, seven for ZBR. Uh, well, I'm, I'm having problems. I'm having trouble pronouncing some <laughs> used to learning German on this. Um, no worries. So he, so here, of course, you can see the tractive effort of all of your traction motors. Okay. So if you so if you saw that one is defective, for example, let's say a traction motor three fails, then you would see that if you apply power, all the other uh, motors, so one, two, and four, would um, would apply some power, but three would remain there. 
Let's try that. Hold on. Uh, Can I actually turn the brake on now? To test it? To actually visually uh, see what's going on? Well, if you, if you want to do that, then go to G. I mean, you can even go to 1 even. So go to 1 again, and Triebe. Okay. And uh, you can go, if you want, to any of them. Choose a number. Uh, the arrow keys. Okay. On the right. But choose okay. any number. Okay, and you can click on 4, which means, uh, which is house, so disable. Okay. Oh, it tripped the breaker. First it's, first it's going to say, ISG Umgruppierung läuft on the screen, so which means that a regrouping is going on. Okay. Uh, I don't know the specifics, but I think that means the... Um, uh, the computers are basically desynchronizing from the computer free since it's off. All right. So now you can uh, close the MCB. Uh, uh, press uh, zero. Uh, the, M the MCB, the main circuit breaker. So it's going to be one of the switches on your left. Do I have to get up? No, no. It's uh, left a bit. This one. Okay. Hold it into forward for a bit. Oh, hold it. There you go. But it makes some sense, that means it's doing something. Yeah, all right. So I have to wait a bit until it uh, actually uh, actually is ready. Okay, yeah, I hear it now. It's getting there. Uh, we'll take a look at the screen in a moment. This yep. is the GSMR, so the radio. Uh, you can go back to the screens while, we, while it restarts so that we can finish on it. We press G. What do you mean? Zero. Which screen? Uh, oh, the, zero, the, zero. The, yeah. Okay. One. Uh, and one final uh, cool feature is the one on the number nine. Okay. So that's the replacement dashboard. What does this do? So, so if we suppose that your main dashboard, so the one in the center, was to fail, then you would be able to use this as a backup. And it's wow, functioning. interesting. How would we do that? Uh, well, it's it's enabled right now, so you, you could just use that if you want. <laughs> okay, so how do we trip it to disable or to malfunction? Uh, I don't think there is an option to do that. Okay, okay. All right. If we suppose that this is to ever become a feature, this would be what you would use. Understood. Okay, so we can go... I, so I don't have a clue what you're saying, but I, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you, All right. you saw your, your main dashboard in the center. Is there anything I should check in the back uh, where we have the CIFA? Any other... Uh, your CIFA valve is off because it seems you have a you have not enabled the expert setting, actually. Okay, so... Clean, so... It needs to be open if you want it to be enabled. So should I do that now or? Yeah. Okay. This is this expert if mode. CIFA fails, actually. Okay. Because so what what good. else what else should we know? What's going on back here? Can you give us a quick rundown on a, a few of the functions? Uh, so most of these valves here control uh, brake related features. Okay. So. Um, there's only few situations where you need to actually close a valve. Uh, there are mostly the safety system ones. Okay, so this is all the safety system here. Anything else I should check back here? You walk a bit back to the uh, valves again, and you uh, walk to the left of where you were standing, and look under there, there are some more. Hold on. Okay, you, look, you look there, like for example, there's a the flange lubrication, which I don't know if it, it will feel fair, I don't think so. Uh, this is the uh, PZB and RZB, you will need that valve to be open to use PZB and RZB. Did I turn it on? Yeah. And this is going to give us a secondary warning system, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, well, this is the, the, the main system uh, that the locomotive uses. Okay. And then you can, you can walk further to the back of the engine room. Get to stand up. Okay. There you go. So this is all decorative, but here, uh, if you look uh, just back, all of these here, the circuit breakers, 
There are oh 144 of them. Uh, 114, sorry. 114 circuit breakers. Every single one of them is functional. And every single one of them can develop a fault if you have faults uh, enabled. So what does this do? Do you have isolation? I'm actually not sure because it's not the switch that I have had the occasion to use myself in this Okay, game. okay. But all of these switches can be uh, enabled. There is one that's disabled, that's your uh, PZB and LZB because you are uh, in expert mode off. So, so it if, if I turn it off, it. turn it on? Yeah. So now, now we're officially in expert mode. So, yeah. All right. And these are part of these, right? When you counted 144, 114? 114. So these are part of the 114 yeah. count? Yeah. These are also That's incredible. I'll just higher voltages. Uh, what voltages are the left side and what voltages are the right side? Um, so, so you know? Don't quote me on that, but I think I remember hearing that the small ones, uh, so the, 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 the leaf looking ones, uh, LSS that have a mix of 24 volts, uh, but don't put me on that, actually. Okay, uh, okay. And everything. Uh, the, the push buttons are obviously higher, because they protect motors. Anything else we should know about the uh, intricate, uh, let's say, in, in intestines of this loco? Uh, well, we haven't taken a look at the two of the main screens. <laughs> Uh, this on the left, uh, the, you saw the red and, and green for a moment. Yep, right here. Uh, these are your um, brick repeaters. If, uh, if okay. I don't know the full name. But uh, the two red ones on the left, uh, are uh, left and middle, are bogey one and bogey two. So if they're red, that means brakes are applied. And the green one currently is the parking brake, which is based. Interesting. Okay. That's basically That's, um, it for the outside, I'm guessing. Yeah. On the outside, you would have uh, different info about the loco if you if you wanted to calculate your train data yourself. Okay. Let's get back inside and look at the screens, like you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, we already saw this. Anything you want to say about this panel here? Um. Well, there's the um, multiple unit control switch, which uh, might come in handy, uh, of course, if you want to drive the cup car, or a sandwich of two 101s, so one at the front, one at the back. Okay. Uh, you might also have to disable it if there is a fault on it. Okay. This, this it is disabled now, now, right? It's disabled now because you're driving from this locomotive. Right, okay. And then uh, this is the parking brake release. Uh, if you guys want to see all that procedure, the cold start, make sure to check out my our first part. Again, with yep. Rafi, who explains everything in detail. So let's get back to driving the loco. This is a first aid container. Uh, yep. Thermal box. What is this? Do we know? Uh, so you would store your lunch here. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is actually something where you, you can store. That is very cool. So uh, warm and it. cool, right? Warm yeah. and cool. And okay. this can actually fail. <laughs> oh, it can fail? It can actually fail. Interesting. All right, so we have AFB main switch on. Yeah. Windshield heating, underfloor heating. All these are failable, right? Prone uh, to failures. Foot, foot balance stuff, I don't know, but. Uh, the, the windscreen heating can fail actually, yeah. And this is a problem, for example, if you have uh, a temperature in your locomotive that is at least 15 degrees higher than the outside because it can fog. Wow. Alright, emergency brake, uh, wipers on and off, Ooh, window lock, well. which can fail as well. Alright, any blind system? Yeah, we have blinds, uh, yeah, it's blinds. manual blinds. Okay, uh, this is the speaker system. All right, we're back on the screens, guys. So we put this back to zero, I guess. Uh, yeah, and uh, you can see also uh, that the um, bottom right of the screen is flashing yellow. 
Okay, what's that mean? It means you currently have a fold going. So when you have this, you click on the big button on the top, which is the ST button. Okay. That takes you to the fold page. And from there, uh, you click on the fold that, that you want to diagnose with the arrow key, so you have it selected right now. And then you have two buttons, V above zero and V equal zero. V above zero is the button you use if you have the fold and the logo is currently in motion. Okay. If it's stopped, it's V equals zero. So I press V equals zero right now. Yeah. So it's going to give you instructions in German, which I have translated in the manual. Okay. So if, we, if we take, for example, this one, I'm going to, to consult the, the manual myself. All right. Uh, Go for it. And guys, make sure you check out the manual. I have it in the comics, comments section and in the description of the video guys there's a link provided to this 144 page which will be updated of course 143 page to 144 uh very soon so the link is going to be in the description so uh the message says which means emergency break for unknown reason so uh the first instruction is of course to apply the emergency brakes yourself to bring the train to a stop and then the next step would be um, to check on the outside if the train is separated, if the brake valve or brake lines are open or leaking, uh, if there are any cut off valves on the inside or outside that are open. How would I check all that? Uh, well, for the, for the locomotive, you don't have any uh, valves on the outside, but you would have on the carriages. But you don't have to check that in this case. It's only okay. to describe what this for. So what's my next step? So your train is together. Uh, you have nothing that is leaking uh, inside the loco. You have your cut of valves. You can check if they are uh, open or closed. Inside the loco, back here, you mean? In the engine room, yeah. That's what the thing would tell you to check open this is an important one for the brakes the distributor pumps some air i reckon so valve of course needs to be closed because you are not being turned cylinders etc Oh shit, we have to raise the pantograph again. <laughs> you did it this time. <laughs> yep, I'm checking everything. I'm trying to, to at least. Everything. Yep. So, you know, everything is, uh, is in order here. And the last step would be to check if there are any air leaking sounds. And if there are, you will need to investigate the cause. Something going on back here. So there is one, I think, because of uh, the set P system, unless I'm mistaken. And also, well, of course, you have the um, emergency brake lever applied that right. on the on the right. So there's a trick to release this one. Oh, you have, I have to, to go the back train to. Brakes. Hold on. Apply the train brake. Yeah, uh, fully to the emergency. Okay. Ah, there we go, yep. the hissing stop. So apply it fully. Apply fully, right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To emergency. Okay. Then you can release the, the red lever. Ah, right. Okay. All right, now. So we check. You just need to wait for the brakes to release, pretty much. Okay. Aha. It's going up. So, have we messed anything up in the back? Oh, the uh, pathogram. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, you could even hear it. Now you should be able to close it. It's open. Okay. Perfect. We're ready to go, I think. Uh, f for a bit longer, remember. Oh. At least one second, the, the main circuit breaker. Oh. So I keep it. Yeah. 
open for a second. Close. Oh, close. Like that. Yeah. Ah, so there we go. That. Yeah, we have to hear that. Very important, guys. Always remember that. All right. Train is firing up again. Let's take a look outside to see the pantogram is up. And we are ready Rough. to rock. Uh, okay, so now you can leave the screen. All right, so I go again. back to zero. Yeah. And something is still flashing, though. Uh, so the pneumatics. Fault, but I think I have. I think I have an idea what it is. Uh, check ST again, just in case. ST. Yeah. And so then V main, equals zero. Oh, it's gone. Go. It's it gone. Just building up pressure in the brake. All uh, right. Uh, in the brake was a war again. All right. So we're set. The was under seven, which was a problem. So we are set now. Look, it's gone. All right. Perfect. So... Alright, let's lock the doors. And so, on the left screen again, because you wanted to test that earlier, uh, check 7 ZBR. That would be... Seven. Number 7. seven. Zero 07. So, you remember we have deactivated the traction motor earlier. earlier. So now if you release the brakes... Sure release brakes? Release. And now apply okay. some power to see. We can't. Oh, wait. Is this. Yeah, we have to put this. Oh, yeah, they're going up. Yeah. But how come number three didn't go up? Because you deactivated it earlier to test, remember? So, you how do we activate that. it again? Yeah. Uh, so, one. One. Aha. Okay. And then down. arrows down. And then you press on two. Nine. Or activate. Perfect. It, of oh, course, we got a circuit breaker. Of course. <laughs> so Wait we have to go moment. back to neutral. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't need neutral. No? Okay. You just need to wait. There you go. It will tell you. There you go. When it says HS Einschalten, that means you can enable the circuit breaker again. Where does it say HS? Uh, oh, I, oh, oh, I see that, that right there. Yeah. Right, so when that blue one. That, you okay, now we can do this. Alright, so let's keep it open again. Couple of, uh, closed, couple of seconds. Yeah. We heard the audible. Now we should have all four brake pressure systems working. Uh, all four working. throttle. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm still new yeah. to this, guys. Uh, thank you, Rafi, for being a part of this very, very detailed uh, tutorial or guide. Guys, check out uh, Raf's. Uh, he authored the manual. Go check out the manual. It's 144 pages long, very detailed, very, very well written by all the authors. Uh, big shout out to Train Sim Germany, Dovetail Games. And uh, Focus Entertainment, uh, you guys are doing tremendous work. Uh, thank you all, and thank you, Rafi, for being here. Uh, let's get this system moving, I guess. We lock the doors, mm -hmm. right? One thing to do before you go is okay. look the GSMR. Uh, so actually, uh, for the doors, just set it to right again, to open right, because I think the objective didn't catch the doors were closed. So look How at do I do that uh, again? The door knob on the left of all of that. Oh, you were, uh, you were near it. It's under the screen on the right. Under the screen? Under the, uh, the, the screen you were looking at. Oh, the screen. And look under that on the right. On the right. This there we are. Okay. Release right again. For a few seconds. Release right and leave it there. Okay. Okay, wait a couple of seconds, then set it up again to lock on. And leave it. Ah, it's working. Yep, that was it. So why didn't the tab button work then? Uh, eh, I'm, I'm not so sure why. 
Why isn't it working now, though? It still says lock all doors. I mean, uh, there's also the possibility that because we took the time to introduce everything, the scenario, right. the scenario, the scenario broke. Like it. Yeah. Because this is pretty unconventional, but I would like right, to so explain every system to you and the should viewers. We... Should we just end the intro here and uh, thank everyone, or should we just refire everything up and get the train moving? Um, well, I guess I guess let's restart the scenario. All right. So we cool. Can... One so thing, we'll do. One thing we'll do. Here, uh, yep. For the expert mode, go to the options. Okay. Options. Uh, settings. Settings. Uh, then Advanced setting. Uh, player assist, I reckon. Player assist. Yes. Expert. So you see, you have the expert mode locos only. So what it does when you set it to on is enable safety systems by default on this local only, of course. Uh, you will have to enter the uh, train data manually, and the force will be enabled by default. Oh, it's an important yeah. setting to know for this. So. I don't want to change anything right now, but uh, that is to have complete expert mode, right? Yeah, that's and that's only from this for this local. Only this local oh. can have. So do I turn it on like right that. now? Uh, I mean, if you want to. I mean, if for the purpose of the tutorial, what should I do? I mean, it depends on you. If you want to play with safety systems enabled by default mm -hmm. on this local and the cap car. Then you want to set it to on. If not, then uh, you okay. Can just Let's do turn it, it on because we're gonna do a bit of the route so we can see the safety systems working in real time. Just need to apply, make sure. Yep. Then we will need to restart the scenario for sure. All right. Let's do this. Sweaty palms. I'm really sweating now, guys. <laughs> I've never done expert mode. I just go the full easy route. No alert systems. No ZPB or no CIFA. Nothing. I just. So thank you, Rav. Thank you for being part of this. So let's just follow what it says. Uh, until yep, you let's to... not do any intricate details right now. We're just going to go full on as fast as possible with the directions it's giving us. Okay. This, uh, forwards. Okay, now you have to enter the train data. So it, okay. it's telling you which numbers to enter. All right. So what do I need? Enter 918. Okay, so that has to go 18. Oh. How do I go upwards? Oh, like that. Just, just look it up. Eighteen twenty-six. So that would be there. Whoops! You just overshot it. Yeah, I did that on purpose so people can see how <laughs> to adjust everything. Perfect. Yep. Now you send it. Now your PCB has changed back to all mode. You enable the doors to the right. Right. Okay. One thing to do outside. before. One thing to do before we set off as well is uh, okay. look at the left screen very quickly. Okay. Uh, you can see that uh, even left of the GSMR of the radio. Okay. So you can see that it doesn't detect a network because you are actually in Austria and it's set okay. to Germany. So press so how do we switch it? Menu. Okay, zero. Uh, press enter here on Netzval Manuel, so select the network manually. Enter. And then you see you have the different country GSMR options, so you can go down two times for GSMR A for Austria. Okay. Enter. Perfect. You, you would have to enter the train number manually, but we can skip on that for now. Okay, how do we do that? Let's uh, press on nine for ZD, like that. then ZN for uh, on number one. 
took Numa, and this is where you enter your train number. Which is? And the scenarios that I don't think there is a train number, if you look on okay. the screen just slightly to the right, I don't think there is one entered. Yeah, there isn't. So you can just enter whichever you prefer. <laughs> okay, zero, one. Okay. Then E. And then five for a uh, register or unnaming. Enter. There you go. Perfect. Data is valid. Easy as that, guys. All right, let's lock the doors by doing this. Yep. Hopefully it'll work. Yep, it yep. works this time. Okay. All Mr. right, Briggs. so now we can get moving. Uh, nothing to do here. Everything's released. Let's put that to full release. Uh, can we set <coughs> autopilot? Yeah, uh, just uh, go back to uh, speed on the front speed door. limiter. Uh, press Control R. Control R. And now you can move that lever on the left, so the bi uh, the other bit, this, this one, yeah. Uh, so set it to 60 because that's your starting speed. Okay. There you go. So that's the limit the train is going to reach no matter how far ahead this is set up, right? Yep. Yep. All right. And now... Uh... Get moving, boys. And let's test out the horn as well. Uh, wiper system. Make sure that's working. Okay. Nose off. Our light system is working, correct? Everything's properly showing. Yep. And the rear of the train should have red taillights, I'm guessing. It should be by default, yeah. Take a look. Oh. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Just Guys, go. don't forget to share, like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, click on that bell icon for more awesome content like this one. And uh, feel free to let us know in the comments what you think of this tutorial, guide, review, whatever you want to call it, of the BR-101, which press, just press, released. Press two. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Did I press it? Uh, a bit late, okay. but it will release. Wait, what happened now? I didn't uh, press Q were... fast enough. Q? Yeah, you did it. Okay. You were. I was explaining it. You were trying to uh, <laughs> tell me, but uh, you... but this is good. This is good, guys. All right. Can we can restart now. Uh, yeah. it should have it. No, it's not moving. Uh, so I have to go back to uh, neutral. Over. What's that? Further in, it's uh, it's still on F in Smell Zero. Okay. There you go. Then you can reapply. Yeah, no stop. So you see also um, your PZB system is flashing between 70 and 85. Yep. Which means it is on the uh, restricted mode as you start. Okay. And your, the speed limit for this would be 40, but you can press on the end key to release from it. Alright. There you go. That's clear. I mean, in Austria, we wouldn't legally be able to do that at this point, but, you know, it, it is just for explanation's sake. <laughs> Alright, so anytime I get any kind of uh, warning, I press Q, correct? On the keyboard? Uh, for C5, you press Q. For PZD, yeah. this is gonna be uh, delete. For, uh, C5. 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 You see? <laughs> you heard okay. it. So, which one is the other one? It's Q for C5, and what's the other one again? PZB, you have three keys that you need to know. Which one? I, I'm not press. understanding. If, if I say to acknowledge, you're gonna press the page down key. Page down, okay, okay. I finally okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm page, in zero. Page down is a bit to acknowledge and to release, and well, I don't think we're gonna need uh, delete, but that's gonna be too open, right? All right, uh, why isn't it moving? Oh, it's moving, okay. Yep. 
takes a while. Yeah, because the bricks have to release everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all simulated. Uh, one thing that you can look at next to your circuit breaker, uh, your main circuit breaker switch, you have the, the electric train supply. Uh, just on the right, this is the knob. The right of the circuit breaker, yeah. Uh, hold that on the right to start. Oh, hold it for a second. Yeah, that would be good. That All right, we do have it. automatic autopilot, press right? Rescue, rescue, rescue. <laughs> Almost got caught again. <laughs> All right, where do we have to stop? 5.4 kilometers. All right. Yeah, you're gonna cross the border into Germany, and then you're gonna stop. Now speed limit has jumped to 100, so you can use so I can R raise the auto the AFP. like that, yeah. and it Otherwise should go you up. You can just use R and F to uh, play around the AFB. Okay. R to increase, F to decrease. Yep. Let's go. That's the reflex you need to 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 get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to be uh, aware of the alert system. So this is also called the dead man's pedal? Yeah. Or dead man's stick? I don't know, what. how is it referred to in the US? Uh, in the US it's going to be the alert. Doing good, guys. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to become a driver. Yeah. Because okay, uh, yeah, keep this key that you just pressed uh, in mind because you might yeah. need it soon. And when you do so, when I do say to acknowledge, you want to brake immediately to reach a okay. speed of under 80 kilometers per hour. Oh okay. shit! Okay. So that would be the train break, correct? Yeah. Okay, so we're com we're coming up to ninety. I should set it up to ninety from now. Yeah, that also works. It's a two kilometers, so you have ample time to. Uh, to yeah, but I just want to be a hundred percent sure that. Why is it slowing down? Uh, because it uh, it needs a bit of time to release. Ah, oh, right, right. Why oh, I pressed it? You need to hold it for tiny bit longer. Ah. All right. So we're getting used to it, guys. I think you need to acknowledge. Yeah, press, uh, yeah, page down. Because <laughs> you actually need that. Okay, so just wait until the brakes release. They are still releasing. You can sound right. Woo! Reset the throttle. Yep. Oh, reset? I did reset it yeah, earlier. You, you, just, you just tried to accelerate a bit early while the brakes. Oh, okay, start. okay. Okay, so your speed limit uh, is, well, at least for now, unless it changes, uh, do not it's exceed the speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Okay, so let's go 80. There we go. Because if you exceed that under the current PCP system, you will automatically uh, set the emergency brakes. Gotcha. It's 85 for tolerance sake, but it, the, 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 the legal speed is going to be 80. Perfect. Thank you. 
you to see the indicator on the left. The little red light, yeah, that turns on. It turns on and then the audible comes on. So I see that okay. light. I pay attention to that light. Okay. Oh, we're going to hit 50 soon. Yeah. For that, you will need to just start slowing down. Then. Okay, so soon your, your main circuit breaker is going to cut because that is a neutral section. Prepare to acknowledge. To prepare page down and okay. when you pass the signal, when you pass that signal, you acknowledge. Yeah, acknowledge now, page down. There you go. You are under the speed limit, so you are very fine. Perfect. You can see it tells you what you need to do with PZB. On the right. Okay, yep. So your main circuit breaker is going to come down. Because that's a neutral section. Okay. It's gonna go back so on now, by itself, or do I have to turn it on? You're gonna to have to turn it on uh, okay. manually again. Alright, so I bring Q. Q. Yep, yep, I pressed it. Uh, oh, the, the circuit breaker, so hold it. There you go. Uh, no need to accelerate now because you're gonna stop in just 500 meters when you look. Okay, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I get the train brake rating now? Uh, you, you're at 50, so you have, you're gonna have it when you see the yeah. platform. Jesus. Hey, let's wait for brake pressure to go up. Yep. yep. You need to see the yellow needle at five. That's when you can start. Start accelerating again. Guys, let me know how you do on this, <laughs> how easy it is for you with full expert mode on. I'm pretty sure some of you are train operators or conductors or engineers, but um, yeah, if if you're at my in skill level, which is noob, N-O-O-B level, then uh, pretty sure you're going to do just as bad as I do. <laughs> Everyone has had rough first... Um... Drive with it, systems on. It takes, yeah, I have full alert systems on, guys. Uh, it takes uh, quite a bit of getting used to. So, if you want, just, you can do without them at the next one. Q? No, I don't mind. Yeah. Q -Q -Q. Oh, it stopped again. Only... How quick do I have to be? Jesus Christ. Uh, you have Anyways, we made it. it. <laughs> So I open the doors, I guess? Yeah, or should I move up ahead? Yeah. Just, uh, just let it be here. Okay. Uh, so re enable the electric trade line because it has cut as a result of the MCB. Hold on. Let's see how far away from the platform. You can use actually... the A camera. Ooh, that looks... <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. We only have, like, two passenger on the platform. Two carriages, yeah. Let's see. This is funny. Maybe. Not even. <laughs> we have a few. Okay. We're okay. We're okay, guys. We got a few. As you can see, passengers are all the way up to there. All right, let's go back in the cab. Uh, what was that you said earlier? Uh, Re-enable the electric train supply, which is right of the main circuit breaker. This one. Hold it until you see the ZS indicator go off. There you go. Okay, and... And uh, on the GSMR, we can switch back to Germany now. 
So that would be... This one, yes. Menu. This one? Uh, Menu with zero. Zero, okay. Zero, press enter because you are in the right place. And then, and then go up to again. the first one. Enter again. And switch back to Germany. There you go. Perfect. So now we can get moving again? Yep. Is everything... Yeah, everything is set. Train brake has released. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been an awesome look. At Train Sim World 4 BR 101 with our guest today, our special guest, the author, one of the authors of the fantastic, beautiful manual that they've set up over a two week period. It took them a lot of time and a lot of uh, ded dedication and love to get this uh, uh, manual happening. Check it out in the links below. Uh, it's in the video description and in the comment section. I'm going to post the link there. Thank you, Rafi, for being part of this two-part series. I hope you guys no got a good look. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to say before you go, guys? Uh, Rafi? To our well, viewers? It was a pleasure being here, and that, uh, I hope one day you're going to take a look at the cap car at the other end. Because that's the one thing we missed. <laughs> okay, we can, uh, we can do that in our third-part video. And uh, <laughs> stay tuned, guys. There's more coming soon. This is Jimmy Dali signing out. Don't forget, share, like, favorite, subscribe. Click on that bell icon and let me know what you think of this by leaving your comments. Bye for now. Bye, Rafi. Bye. And thank you. Thank you to DTG. Thank you to Train Sim Germany for providing this local amazing work, guys. And uh, Focus Entertainment. Bye, guys. Bye. One second. Stop the record.